Today's topic is on staggered observations that involves two intercepts. Uh, that means uh, two observations of sextant altitudes uh, over a period of time. All right. So in staggered observations, uh, the ship's course and distance during the intervening period between two observations of sextant altitudes of celestial bodies has to be taken into account in order to obtain the position of the vessel by combining the results of the two observations. So that means if uh, one sextant altitude was observed in the morning and then maybe a few hours have passed and then you observe another altitude maybe in the noon or sometime afternoon um, then we use these two observations and the data collected from these two observations to plot the ship's position at sea through the intersection of two position lines. Alright, so let's get into the question here. So the question says that uh, it's a dead reckoning position of 56 11 minutes north and 72 degrees 23 minutes east. That means that's the ship's estimated position. So DR stands for dead reckoning or an estimated position. Uh, the site uh, may be taken in the morning uh, led you to obtain an intercept of 6.3 minutes away from an azimuth of 130 degrees true. So that was based on an astronomical observation let's say in the morning, right? Then the vessel steamed on a course of 243 degrees true for 43 nautical miles when another astronomical observation or you can say a celestial observation gave an intercept of 2.2 minutes towards azimuth of 210 degrees true. Right. So the DR used for the second observation was obtained directly by allowing the run to the first DR. Find the position of the ship at the second observation. So what we have to do is basically find the position of the ship at the second observation. So what we have been given is the estimated position in the morning or in an earlier time of the day and uh, through a sextant observ altitude observation we have got a position line through an intercept of 6.3 away towards an azimuth of 130 degrees right the vessel then steamed a course and distance of 2430 243 degrees true for 43 miles these are all the key information given to us and after 43 miles you have obtained another position line through an intercept of 2.2 towards an azimuth of 210 degrees true all right the DR used for the second observation was obtained directly by allowing the run to the first DR. Now what does this mean? I'll show you what this means also. So basically we'll be transferring the earlier DR which is the first DR of 56 11 north and 72 23 east and we'll apply the course and distance to that DR and transfer it to the DR when the second observation was obtained. So I'll show you what I mean. Alright so this part here is shown here. What does it mean by allowing the run to the first year? So we have been given a course of 243 degrees true, which is also equal to south 63 degrees west. All right, so if you don't know what that means, that means this is south and this is west. And if this is 180 and this is 270, 243 lies somewhere here, right? 243 degrees. That means you have gone 63 degrees from south towards west. And that's why you write you can write 243 degrees to as south 63 degrees west as well all right the distance given to you has been 43 nautical miles so using the formula for plane sailing you can calculate the d lat for the course and distance traveled so d lat equals nothing but distance times course of course distance is 43 nautical miles and course is 63 degrees you can also use 243 degrees which is given to you here you will get the same answer only that in some cases you get a negative uh, value in the calculator just ignore the negative sign in the calculator all right and then your d light will be 19.5 you will name it south because you are on a southwesterly course all right because course is southwesterly so the south will be d light and the west will be used to name your departure and then your resulting d long then you can calculate your departure which is like the east west distance so departure using the plane sailing formula equals distance times sine of course again distance is 43 and course is 63 you can also use 243 degrees here if you get a negative sign just ignore the negative sign and then you get the departure of 38.3 minutes 
rest now whenever you see your calculators if the value is less than 60 that means it's minutes if it's more than 60 the answer is still in minutes but that means you need to convert it into degrees and minutes by dividing it by 60 all right so some students get confused when they see values like 38.3 in the calculator they think is it 38.3 degrees no uh, and you must think in a way that if you have traveled only 43 miles how can you travel 38 degrees all right so that's how you have to think so whenever you see a value it is always in minutes only that when it, it is more than 60 you need to convert it into degrees and minutes by dividing it by 60 all right so departure i have named it west again because course is southwest so if course is southwest departure and delong will be named west all right over here is south this south is comes here and this west comes here all right then this is your first dr lat which is given to you in the question all right from the question i will write it down here in case you get confused where this came from and now you have a run so basically you see in the question it says by allowing the run to the first dr that's what it means you basically apply your course and distance to get your d lat and d long so we've got our d lat so far we haven't got our d long although you see the d long written here i'll show you how it was done all right so your d lat was 19.5 minutes south so from a north latitude you are going south that means your north latitude should be decreasing and that's why you will subtract the d lat and then you get your second dr lat so that means the, the dr lat at the time of the second observation was 55 degrees 51.5 minutes north all right once you get your two latitudes you can calculate your m lat so this is the first dr lat and this is the second dr lat don't use the run lat d lat all right so this is the second dr lat since they are both in the same hemisphere just add the two and divide by two and you will get your mean latitude so m lat stands for mean latitude and of course because both the positions are in north hemisphere your mean lat will also be north all right and i'll show you uh, what we are basically trying to do just after i finish this calculation here all right then once you get your m lat you can calculate your d long by using the formula again this is from plain sailing departure equals d long equals departure divided by cos of mean lat just put in the value of the departure that you've calculated above and the mean lat that you've just calculated and you will get your d long d long will be west because your course is southwest so if course is southwest d long will be west so again like i said if you see in your calculators any value more than 60 it's still in minutes but you have to convert it into degrees and minutes so that's why 68.5 minutes is equal to if you divide it by 60 you will get one degrees 8.5 minutes west that's your d long use this d long and then you can apply it here to your first dr long because you are in east longitude and you are going in a westerly fashion your east longitude should be decreasing so you will subtract your d long from your first dr and then you get your dr long for your second observation all right so basically what we are trying to do here and i'll, show, I'll explain this figure later on so basically what we are trying to do here is that we have got a, a first dr lat and long here all right so this is what we are trying to do first dr lat and this is first dr long all right and this is the time that you obtained uh, an intercept and position so intercept that was given to you in the first one is 130 away and 6.3 minutes right so 130 will be opposite uh, so basically this is your this is from the morning side and then from here you travel a course of 243 degrees through by 43 nautical miles and then you come to another position here at this time of the position you got another intercept and bearing line all right so this one was of course 130 degrees true and 6.3 away and this one was 2.2 towards 210 degrees true all right and then you transfer this position line here so you transfer this position line here and you denote it by double arrows the intersection of these two position line gives you the position but because we are trying to take a shortcut what we are doing is through the running the dr is we are removing all this here we have removed all this stage here we are straight away transferring this position 
so what we have done is basically we found out this position by running the course and distance running the course and distance that's what we have done so we have taken a shortcut all right although in the charts you can draw the whole thing but because of academic purposes we take a shortcut so that's what we mean by running the first dr all right so once we have found out the dr lat and long for the time of the second observation we can start the plotting all right as you can see i have already done the plotting here but i'll show you how i did it all right so basically what you do is use this position here the second dr let so I'll, I'll i'll erase some of this stuff so that it doesn't become too cluttery for you all right so i'll erase some of this stuff here so it become, doesn't become too cluttery for you maybe this will help right and then what i did was i took this dr lat and long so you take the yes dr lat and long and then use this for plotting so what will you do is basically uh, knowing that your dr lat and long will have an intercept which direction you can just draw it in the center of the plotting sheet so basically just assume that uh, this one here this is a position all right just draw up a cross and that's your position in uh, dr lat and long at the time of the second observation so i will call it dr lat and dr long second observation you can see from the above diagram that my dr lat is 55 degrees 51.5 minutes north and my dr long here is 071 degrees 14.5 minutes east so this is the one that i found out using uh, or running the course and distance from the first dr all right so i'll take this out now so that you guys don't find it too cluttery and then what you do is basically you draw both the intercepts and position lines so when it says 6.3 away towards 130 degrees true that's your first uh, intercept and bearing so when it says 6.3 away that means you won't go towards 130 130 will be somewhere in this direction right if this is uh, south and this is east so don't go towards 130 go away from 130 in a direction of 180 degrees opposite to 130 that will be in 310 so go towards 310 all right, all right. something like this and then this distance here should be 6.3 miles so if your scale is say one centimeter equals one minute then this distance should be 6.3 centimeters equals 6.3 minutes this distance here all right measure it on the scale and then draw a line which is perpendicular to this all right so this will be 130 so 6.3 away and bearing of 130 degrees to so you are going opposite to 130 degrees to which is 310 all right 180 degrees opposite to it and then this position line that you see i will denote by double arrows because this has been transferred from the earlier site because we have transferred the dr position now this position line will be in the orientation of uh, 220 and 040 all right so if you are not sure then take the bearing and just add 90 to it and subtract 90 from it and you will get the orientation of the position line all right so just keep looking at the above diagram as well this diagram here that i have drawn in fair and it's very nicely drawn the reason i'm drawing the second one which is not very good looking is because just to show you what i have done above here all right and then draw your second position line which will be 2.2 towards 210 so you go towards 210 and 2.2 so this will be a shorter distance so again 2.2 centimeters maybe which will be equal to 2.2 miles depends on the scale my scale is one centimeter equals one minute and then this is 210 you can get the orientation of the position line by adding and subtracting 90 degrees to 210 so if you add 90 degrees it will be 300 and if you subtract it will be 120 so this position line here So again this is not too scale right so don't worry too much about it so this intersection of these two position lines. so the second position line you will only denote by single arrows here because this is not a transferred position line from the morning the transfer position line from the morning you denote by double arrows right? this is only single arrow so the intersection of these two will give you the sorry about the intersection of these two will give you the fixed 
and then what you do with this wix you basically measure the vertical distance here right this is the vertical distance you will measure so you extend you can extend the horizontal line of the you can extend the horizontal line of the cross that you have drawn earlier all right and then of course you can also get the departure from here so this horizontal distance becomes the departure and this becomes the d -let. so measure it on the scale so maybe you will get the delay as 1.3 centimeters which will be equal to 1.3 minutes and this is on the north of my uh, dr light and long so the d light would be north and the departure will be about seven centimeters maybe which is equal to seven minutes and this is on the west of my dr light and long so i will call it west all right so that's what i've done in the above diagram which is much neater and better to look at but at least you know from this diagram here uh, what did i do and how did i get that fixed position all right so i'll continue from where i left off and then i've got my d light and departure now so i use this d light that i have measured and i put it here so this is my second dr light all right the one that i've drawn here is here and then I put, measure my D light and apply it here because it is north of my DR light. I will use it north, and that's why my north latitude should be increasing as I go towards my fixed position. So this is my fixed position. All right, or my observed position is more accurate based on celestial observations. So just add your D light, and you will get your fixed latitude. So this latitude, this fixed latitude is this latitude here. This latitude here. All right. once you get your two latitudes like before you can calculate your m lat so this latitude comes here and sorry this latitude comes here so or the opposite rather but you get what i mean so i'll take this off here so this latitude comes here and this latitude comes here all right these two latitudes add the two and divide by two you will get your mean latitude and then you have your departure departure that you measured here is your departure and then calculate your d long by dividing departure by cos of mean latitude this mean latitude here you should be getting 12.5 minutes as your d long name it west because you can see that your fixed position is to the west of your dr all right now take this d long and apply it here because you're in east long and your d long is west your east longitude should be decreasing so you will subtract it then you get your longitude of the fix this longitude is basically the longitude of this position here all right so i know there's a lot of lines going on around here but the only reason i'm doing that is just to show you which value comes from where uh, and uh, this question basically solved a staggered observation using uh, two intercepts as position lines my previous videos on staggered observations have used other examples i'll provide you with a link about that as well so hope it helps you to understand uh, how to calculate staggered observations uh, that involve two intercept and that basically means that uh, one intercept was obtained earlier in the day and then you travel for a course and distance and then in the second observation you get another intercept and bearing but uh, what you do is basically you apply the course and distance to the first dr lat and long and transfer it to make it the second dr lat and long and then draw both the position lines together and the intersection of that gives you the fix Right, so i hope this was easy to understand i hope you could follow what i was saying uh, if you have any questions uh, please write to me in the comments and thank you again to all my subscribers and all the people who follow me and um, write to me and give me feedback i really appreciate it i'll see you soon with another video thanks guys